Hi, I'm Mark Stever, Chief Tax Information Officer here at Jackson Hewitt Tax Service. We're just a few short weeks away from the end of the year. So today we're going to cover my favorite go-to year-end tax tips to help taxpayers get a bigger tax refund. Because there's still time for tax planning to help boost your refund or decrease what you might owe. So tip number one, I recommend getting a tax checkup to find out sooner rather than later what your estimated tax refund or balance due could be. Avoid a tax time surprise by having a free year-end tax review with a trusted Jackson Hewitt tax pro today. Tip number two, increase your tax withholdings if you're close to or in a balance due territory situation, or you simply want to maximize a tax refund. Adding a few extra bucks to your final paycheck withholdings could pay you back when you file your tax return this year. Tip three, if applicable and you're eligible, and this year many millions of taxpayers will be, mark your calendar and make sure to send the IRS your estimated tax payment by January 15, especially if you're self-employed, have unemployed unemployment benefits for example, or for whatever reason you need to close the gap on owing taxes to break even. Tip number four, if you're able to, consider investing in your future and put extra money into your IRA or 401k accounts to max out your allowable contributions. This is one of the easiest ways to decrease your taxable income and create some self-generated, much-needed tax breaks. Plus, you have until April to contribute to an IRA to benefit your tax returns. And while not really a year-end tax tip, it's still solid good planning if you can afford it. Tip number five, it's been a difficult year for many Americans, so consider giving back to your community and donate some items you no longer need or use, which could result in a tax deduction. Clean out your cabinets, drawers, closets, basements. Even better, with the holidays coming up, you could have a cleaner house. You can also make a money contribution by check or credit card to your favorite qualified charity. Just be sure to keep a list of what you give, the values, and all the receipts. Taking higher education classes, you could pay your tuition early. For the dozen or so tax benefits and higher education offers, Prepaying some education expenses before you're in could count towards an education tax credit. Same goes for those of you who own a house. Pay your January mortgage before the end of the year and it will count for this year's taxes. It's an oldie and a goodie and it still works for millions of taxpayers. Taxpayers with a flexible spending account have until the end of the year to spend the remainder of their account. Now some plans as we know allow a little bit longer, but unless you know for sure, and you should check with your plan administrator, it's best to be safe and spend that money before year end. And my final tax tip, if you love taxes, great for you, I do too, but if you're not as comfortable or you have any questions, it's best not to go alone. Schedule an appointment at jacksonhewitt.com today.